Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. I'm gonna make a whole cast iron, one pan steak meal just for you. And of course, I selected one of my most beautiful steaks. This steak comes from a cow that I took apart myself. Look at this beautiful Black Angus ribeye with great intramuscular fat and a dark red color in the meat. Now, of course, you guys all expect me to whip out my good old cast iron skillet. And normally I would, but now we're entering the 21st century. That's it, 21st century. And now you're thinking, whoa, dude, you promised us cast iron in this video. Dude, this is cast iron. A pan like this, a skillet, of course, it's larger in size, but it's super, super heavy. And there's a big advantage to it. And that's because it absorbs energy. All that weight, all that cast iron absorbs energy. But for day-to-day -day use, it's quite heavy. So you can use this on your induction, on your gas stove, any type of cooking surface you can use this on this stuff is freaking amazing and then they got a lightweight handle that is hollow and therefore it doesn't heat up and personally that's my favorite part no more burning hands so what does it take to make this one pan steak dish i'm gonna start by making a black pepper butter of course it all starts with a good amount of real butter now i kind of lied about the black pepper thing because i'm using white peña pepper and a matter of fact, it's smoked white peña pepper because it's one of my favorites. Now, if you can't get smoked white peña pepper, just get some black pepper. It's a good substitute, but if you can get smoked white peña pepper, oh, your mind's gonna be blown. Now, of course, this is gonna take some grinding, but I want a real nice fine ground pepper. I'm gonna make around three tablespoons of fine ground pepper. And that's gonna make this butter so peppery. But once we put this in the pan, it's gonna melt down and all of that pepper is gonna join with the flavors of the steak and make it taste even better. Next, I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of fleur de sel. And I wanna show you guys something. This fleur de sel is so light in texture, this is gonna melt instantly when it hits the steak. Now all it needs is a little bit more flavor and I wanna boost it, but I don't want it to be overpowering. I just want flavors to pop. And onion powder and garlic powder do just that. So I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of onion powder and a quarter tablespoon of garlic powder. I'm not using too much of that garlic powder because it can be very, very overpowering. And garlic powder in itself is not really something fantastic. If you use fresh garlic, it's beautiful. But if you use garlic powder, it becomes a little bit intense and it can be, well, it can stick in your mouth. So I just wanna use a little bit for the flavor to pop. When it's done, you always wanna make sure that you do a taste test, just to see if you get it right. And I got the right person right here. Oh yeah. That's a lot of flavor. Quality assurance says this stuff tastes good. Now let's get on with the recipe. I'm gonna be cooking my steak on the Napoleon gas grill, the 665, and this thing is an absolute beast. It has so much power that it can heat up my cast iron pan and make it perfect to cook my steak in. So I'm gonna turn on my burners. Once my barbecue is up to temperature, I'm gonna put on my skillet and let it come up to temperature. Once the pan is hot, I'm gonna put in my steak with the fat cap pointing towards the pan. That's gonna melt the fat and create the base to fry my steak in. I'm gonna sear my steak on both sides until I have a beautiful crust. Because of the cast iron pan, I build up the beautiful crust on my steak. I'm gonna transfer the steak to my wooden plank where I'm gonna let it rest. As you can see, that fat is still bubbling on that steak. That means we have an amazing crust. And look at all this fat that rendered down into my cast iron pan. That is beef tallow. We created that just by cooking the steak. And that's why I didn't put any oil in the pan. It's gonna be the base for the next step of this recipe. I'm gonna put a layer of pasta in the pan and I'm gonna submerge it in beef broth. It's gonna take about 10 minutes for the pasta to cook. I'm gonna let the beef broth reduce while the pasta is cooking. Add green peas, add some fresh basil, 
a big tablespoon of that white pena pepper butter, add some fresh grated parmesan, and finish it off with some fresh fried pancetta. And now my pasta is done, time to get it back to the steak. This steak turned out to be a good looking steak. Perfectly cooked, beautiful crust on the outside, and now placed back on that beautiful pasta dish. And there you have it, a beautiful cast iron pan steak with a delicious pasta side dish. And with a little butter on the steak, it transforms into the best steak pasta dish you ever had. One pan steak dish, here we go. <laughs> the crust on this steak, phenomenal. Oh man, this is so good. I don't like this. This is not really my thing, no. And I'm not gonna make it at the home. I'm not gonna find the recipe on pitmasterx.com. No, seriously. This, ah, this makes me so happy. The dish that goes with this steak, it really matches with the steak because we cooked the steak first, I left all of the goodness in the pan and then cooked the pasta with it. Now that's how you do it. In the sauce, in the butter, that works so incredibly well. I'm gonna empty this plate, I'm not joking. You know what also makes me happy? I just ordered that pan for myself at home. I'm gonna make this recipe. This is freaking delicious. Oh man, cheers. Mm. 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 Just knowing that I can make this, that's a beautiful thing already. But having it too, in front of your eyes, that's the most beautiful thing in the world. So if you're a student, mm -hmm. you can make this mm -hmm. very, very easy. And it tastes extremely amazing. And the magical thing about this recipe is that you keep everything in that one pan and everything tastes amazing because the whole dish tastes of a really great steak. Mm -hmm. A lot of good beef. Yeah, there's one really important starting point and that's that beef, that the beef salad. Freshly created beef tallow right there in your pan, mm -hmm. out of an amazing steak. That is the magic part. So me, Morris and Mitchell are gonna finish our plates and I wanna say a thank you to our YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time, until then. Eat smarter. And keep on grilling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And better check that recipe. Oh man, you gotta check that recipe. Mm -hmm. Mm. And the next video. Mm. And oh Ava head. wants them too, I think. There we go. Oh. Did you eat your green peas? I'm gonna eat them all. <laughs>